Uh, this is a question again taken from New Lake Workbook on Conic section. Uh, the question is question number 33. Uh, on, this is on page 14. This is uh, question number 33 on page 14. So the question is write down the Cartesian equation of the circle with the parametric equation x is equal to minus 1 plus 3 cos theta and y is equal to 5 plus 3 sine theta. So from this is called a Cartesian form and from this, sorry, this is parametric form we want to write in the Cartesian form. So the Cartesian form of a circle, this is the equation is like this, x minus h the whole squared plus y minus k the whole squared is equal to r squared. This is called the Cartesian form, where center, the center of this circle in the general form is h comma k, and the radius is r. So basically we want to write from the parametric form to the Cartesian form. So this is, this is in the parametric form in sine, in cos and sine. So let's write uh, the parametric form again. Uh, so x is equal to negative 1 plus 3 cos theta. So cos t, you can also write theta, yeah? So we, am, we want to make cos theta, sorry, cos t the subject. We want to make cos t the subject. So we're going to add 1 to both sides. So you can say x plus 1 is equal to 3 cos theta. Or cos t, I keep saying cos theta. And now dividing both sides by 3, this is x plus 1 divided by 3 is equal to cos t. So let us leave it like this as it is. We'll use this later. So what is y? So y is equal to phi plus 3 sine theta or sine t. Taking away 5 from both sides, it is y minus 5 is equal to 3 sine t. Now dividing both sides by 3, y minus 5 over 3 is equal to sine t. Okay, so we have got cos t and sine t. So now you need to remember, think of one trig identity. Uh, which would uh, which uses cos and sine. Well, I know cos squared, cos squared t plus sine squared t is equal to y. So I'm going to use this identity of cos squared t plus sine squared t equal to one. So in place of cos squared t, I can write this as x plus one the whole squared divided over 9. That means I'm squaring both sides. Plus, I can write this as y minus 5 the whole squared over 9 is equal to 1. This implies, now multiplying the whole thing, left hand side and right hand side by 9, I can write this becomes x plus 1 the whole squared plus y minus 5 the whole squared is equal to 9. And this is in the standard form or in the general form. So writing this in this form, I can write this as x take away negative 1 squared plus y take away phi, the whole squared, is equal to 3 squared. So you can compare it with this form. So looking, comparing this with this equation, I can say what is h? h is, h is negative 1 k is 5 and r is 3. So I can say the center, so let me write it here. So the center of this circle, center is negative 1 comma 5 and the radius is 3. So let's sketch or draw the circle. Center is negative 1 5, so this is negative 1. And this is one, two, three, four, five. So this is the center. This is negative one comma five. And what's the radius? The radius is 
three. So you go three to the right. So one, two, three. So let's put a cross here. You go one, two, three. These are the extreme points. You go three to the left. So one, two, three. So these are the end points. And you go three down. And here we go. So this is a circle. Uh, this is a circle with center negative one five and the radius of. So this is only a sketch. And this is the circle. Okay, so here you can see this is this rate diameter. This is also the diameter. So this is three on all four ends. From this, of course, you can also find the x intercept. There's no y intercept here, so you can use a calculator or even you set y equal to zero and find the y intercept. So there's no x intercept. So let me show this on a calculator. So this is my graphic calculator. Uh, it's okay, hopefully, you can see the graphic calculator. So let me hide it. Uh, I can't bring my calculator on the top. So, yeah, uh, you go to conics. Let me show you. Yeah, conics. And uh, what was the equation center? H is, H is negative 1. K is 5. And the radius is 3. Okay, and yeah, you can see the center is negative 1. Negative 1, 5. And G is all radius. And you can also find the y-intercept. So this is one y-intercept and this is the other y-intercept. 